Are you new to Python and natural language processing and feeling a bit lost when it comes to identifying user intent? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to effectively determine the intent behind various questions. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when your code doesn't return the expected results, especially when you're just starting out. Many beginners face similar challenges when trying to match user queries with the right responses. Let's take a closer look at the specific issue at hand. One user asked how to identify the intent behind questions like, what is NLP? and what is natural language processing. They found that their current methods like string matching weren't working effectively. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So why is this happening? The challenge lies in the fact that users can phrase their questions in many different ways, and simple string matching often fails to capture the intent behind those variations. We'll break down some effective strategies to tackle this. And stick around. I have a powerful technique to share at the end that can significantly improve your intent identification skills. To identify user intent effectively, the user should consider using natural language processing techniques. First, they can utilize a library like NLTK or SPASI to pre-process the text. This involves tokenization, which breaks down the questions into individual words. Next, the user should implement a method for semantic similarity. This can be achieved by using word embeddings, such as Word2Vec or Glove, which help in understanding the context of words in relation to each other. After that, the user can create a function to compare the user's question with predefined questions. This function should calculate the similarity score between the user's input and the existing questions to determine the closest match. Finally, the user should implement a fallback mechanism if the similarity score is below a certain threshold, the system can prompt the user for clarification or suggest related topics. Fun fact, did you know that the first chatbot, Eliza, was created in the 1960s? It could simulate conversation but struggled with understanding intent, just like many of us do today. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests using Spacey to train a custom parser for identifying chat intents. This method allows you to predict tree structures over your input text, which can enhance understanding of user queries. To train the model, you need to format your training data with texts, heads, and dependency labels. This structured approach helps the model understand the relationships between words in a sentence. Now, Let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative approach for identifying user intent in NLP is to explore advanced techniques. One user suggests checking out the squad leaderboard for examples of question and answering systems. They mention that complex domains may require first order logic and neural networks. They highlight a notable solution called bidirectional attention flow, which can enhance understanding of context. Additionally, if your data includes domain-specific terms, creating a custom dictionary is essential. Finally, the user emphasizes that relying solely on statistical methods like cosine distance may not be sufficient. Combining statistical and lexicon-based approaches is often necessary for effective feature extraction. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative approach suggests that the solution depends on how you frame your problem and the specific domain you're working in. The user recommends a dataset for question type classification and provides a link to an implementation. Additionally, the user emphasizes the importance of annotating your text. They suggest using tools like Chunker and semantic role labeling to extract interesting patterns from your data. Here's the technique I promised. Use a combination of keyword extraction and machine learning to enhance your intent recognition. This dual approach can significantly boost your accuracy. And there you have it. With these strategies, you should be well on your way to accurately identifying user intent in your Python NLP projects. If you found this helpful, 
Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.